Hello everyone, my name is Tiger Hazel from Backlog Banter, and today I'm here to tell you why I am genuinely very excited for Concord, the latest game revealed yesterday from PlayStation Studios Firewalk, a new studio that was acquired by PlayStation just a couple of years ago, and I'm really looking forward to this game. It has been less than a day, it's been about half a day actually, since the game was formally revealed with a cinematic and with gameplay and with a bunch of information, comes about a year after the game was initially teased in last year's PlayStation Showcase, and people aren't exactly taking it with the most optimism. A lot of people are saying, this looks like Knockoff Guardians of the Galaxy, this just looks like Overwatch again, and I think it does certainly take a lot of inspiration from those, and I don't think the dev team would disagree with that, but... This game, I think, does a couple things that, for me, signal a great direction for PlayStation Studios, signal something that feels totally fresh coming from that side of the game's industry. And what we saw in the reveal really appeals to me in a couple of key ways, and I want to break that down here. To talk about the elephant in the room, this is a 5v5 hero shooter. This is a genre that has been frankly, oversaturated in the last couple of years. We also have multiple new games in this genre coming out soon. So this is not the first time people are seeing a game like this. I think that's a big part of the reason why a lot of people are kind of bristling at it. But for me, this is a genre that I have one very specific experience with that I really, really loved, but I have not been into or playing any of the other games in this genre. I loved Overwatch when it came out. I played that game for about three years, monthly, weekly, whatever. I loved following the updates. I loved all the new characters. I loved the lore. I was, you know, making memes about it. I was, I was reading fan fictions. I was really all the way in. But it's been seven years since that. I haven't gotten into a multiplayer round based shooter like this in a long time. And so for me, Concord feels pretty fresh. I know objectively in terms of release cadence and other games in this genre, it is in a lot, a lot of company, but I haven't been into those. And so I, I think I'm in the perfect headspace to not feel like, oh, I've been playing a ton of games like this. And so from that angle, it feels pretty fresh to me. I also have to be honest, I really love the art direction. I love the personality. I think the colors of the world design and the characters just are really rich and vibrant. Uh, what we saw in the reveal trailer, in the cinematic, and in the gameplay, I saw a bunch of different maps that looked very different. There was one that had blue sand. There was like big purple trees. There's colorful ships and clouds in the sky. And there's something about that colorful poppy energy that really appeals to me. Part of why I really loved Overwatch was that colorful personality. And this seems to really be doubling down on that. And also taking inspiration from Guardians of the Galaxy, very obviously, that's another colorful cast of characters with great worlds and great personality that is one of my favorites in modern times. And so combining the colorful eccentricity of Overwatch with the colorful eccentricity of Garden's Galaxy, in my opinion, is a match made in heaven because those two IPs share a very similar appeal. I really enjoyed digging into the trailer and looking at what the characters are saying, what their names are. We've got One-Off and Haymar and Starchild and Lennox, and there's a bunch of other ones that weren't so heavily featured in the cinematic. And I love being introduced to a new world and new cast of characters. I think that the dynamic looks a lot of fun, and I'm just curious to see how they evolve this and connect it to the gameplay going forward. And one of the things we do know about how Concord is going to be handled post-launch that is one of the things that really, really excites me about this game is that they have a very distinct, and I think very important and fresh, focus on the cinematic narrative side of this game. I love going into a world and learning about its lore and learning about its characters. Some of the, one of the things that really uh, appealed to me about Overwatch was those cinematic trailers and learning about the history of those characters. And Firewalk has said, and I'm going to read a quote from the PlayStation blog here, that they're going to be supporting this with weekly rollout of cinematics. So there's a really big emphasis on story. To quote from the PlayStation blog, they say, Alongside getting to know the crew of the North Star through gameplay, you'll also have an opportunity to see their stories unfold through cinematic vignettes that will premiere in-game, as important, starting weekly from launch. These brief cinematic vignettes will feature ongoing narrative arcs, grow the characters' stories, relationships, and unpack the broader Concord galaxy and life as a free gunner. And that weekly cinematic rollout is really, really exciting to me. I am not someone who plays a lot of round-based multiplayer games, um, free-to-play games, uh, games with live service elements, but if a game can show me a story that is evolving over time, and I'm incentivized to continually check back in, engage with the community, and learn about the world over time, I think that that's really, really exciting, and also shows that they're committing to this. This isn't monthly, this isn't bi-monthly, this isn't one cutscene at the end, end or beginning of every season, which is what most 
free-to-play live service games do. This is weekly. There is a lot of effort that is going into this. From the cinematic trailer we saw and the reveal, it looked great. The full motion capture, great voice acting, lots of action. And I have to assume that they're, they've are they been working on these trailers, uh, these cinematic vignettes, for a long time. And so I don't know how long these are going to last, how long the support for this is going to be, because those cannot be easy to make. But the fact that they're putting this much effort into it, it looks like a full production value AAA thing that will be evolving the game over time. is just so, so exciting to me and feels very fresh because, again, other games do this to an extent. Overwatch did this with a great cutscene or a great um, trailer, cinematic trailer, every couple months, a couple times a year maybe. But weekly is really, really a commitment and shows that Firewalk has a unique vision for how they want the community engagement and the story and narrative engagement to be with a game that, yeah, structurally is something that has been done many times, but I think this narrative element is a key distinctifying feature that really, really excites me as someone who loves these kind of games for their world narrative. But it isn't just the story that really excites me. I think that the gameplay for this game looks really, really good. We've really only seen it in cut up chunks that are that were showing the different abilities of the characters. And so I'll have to wait to learn a little bit more about mode structure and, and progression and things like that. But again, from what we've seen of the characters using their abilities and the map design, I think it all looks really, really solid, really well done. I think the gameplay looks tight. The gunplay looks tight. Again, another distinctifying feature of this that they highlighted in the developer conversation and on the PlayStation blog is that some characters have abilities that are persistent across the entire match. And so, yeah, in a game like Overwatch, you'll have Winston throw down his shield bubble. That only lasts, what, 10 seconds <laughs> if you're lucky. But uh, they talk about persistent abilities here. I'm going to quote from the PlayStation blog where they say, some abilities can have enduring impact on a match, like deployable walls that block off entire lanes, explosive traps, bullet blocking domes, speed granting spores, and more that persist across rounds and respawns. And that I think is really key. If enough of these characters have these abilities, and if they feel like they impact the round in significant ways, the map and the uh, pace of the match can change over the course of doing different rounds and respawning and throwing down multiple walls. And I think that that could be really cool and something that, again, I'm not super experienced with this genre. Overwatch is really my only touchstone, but Overwatch definitely does not have that. Maze wall will go away in just a couple of seconds. But if the pace of match and the map are evolving over the course of the match because of all these different abilities, I think that could also feel very, very fresh. But really the main reason why I'm excited for Concord is because I'm a PlayStation Studio sicko. I love learning about the history, looking into the development history of these teams and the IP that they create and the ways that Sony brings new ideas to the table. And frankly, PS5, I think, while I've enjoyed my time with the system, has been kind of lacking in that. Basically every major release, except for Returnal and Destruction All-Stars, has been a direct sequel to a game that was really, really popular and really, really good on PS4. Spider-Man 2, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West. These are the biggest games, and frankly, some of my favorite games of all time. I'm not disparaging their quality, but they do feel like they're treading on well-worn ground, things that we played not too long ago. And I'm not, again, not disparaging the quality of what the work that these teams have put in, but PS5 has felt like it's lacked its own identity. Very few new IP, very few new gameplay ideas, the joke of PS5 has no games and that it feels like PS4 2 is kind of apt. And Concord is not that. This is a first person shooter from a internal Sony studio that hasn't happened in over a decade. Killzone Shadowfall was the last first person shooter that they put out. And they also have barely dipped their toes into this live service multiplayer game realm. Almost all of their games are single player focused. We know that they're trying to expand with acquisitions of teams like Haven and Firewalk into the free-to-play live service area. And Concord is, other than Helldivers 2, which came out earlier this year, to great success, and it's their fastest-selling PlayStation Studios published game of all time, Concord is their next step into that. And again, it is a new IP. This is a new world. This is new characters. And that's something we really haven't seen be given this kind of attention and budget from a PlayStation Studios game in a long time. People are always saying that, that Sony and Nintendo and Xbox bank too hard on their well-established IP. That's too The industry is too focused on sequels and playing it safe. And yeah, Concord is based in well-worn territory in terms of its gameplay structure and its tonal identity in something like Guardians. But I do think that it can't be understated that putting this kind of budget and effort into a new IP with a new world and characters that we could grow to love is something that is very, very important to champion and support from PlayStation Studios that has been lacking that. 
in the last few years. And so to recap, I'm really excited for Concord. I think that the visuals look really great. I think that the cinematics look really great. I'm, I think the gameplay and with the persistent abilities is really interesting and could feel fresh if it's done right. I think the way that Firewalk it, with Concord is putting effort into supporting the narrative and engaging the community in that way over time feels really, really unique to me. And also on a very subjective level, I haven't been into a game like this in a very long time, and so it doesn't feel well-worn for me. And I also am just a giant fan of PlayStation Studios, and I find it really interesting where they put their effort, and this seems like something totally fresh. And finally, the game is coming out very soon. The pre-orders come out next week, the uh, beta is just a month after that, and then the launch of the game is a month after that. That is not a large amount of time for people to see this in so many showcases and be like, oh gosh, is it Concord again? Gotta spend another five minutes on this game. That is usually what a lot of PlayStation Studios games get because we have to see them over and over again over the course of years. But three months, is there's not enough time to get tired of this game. And I think that it'll feel pretty fresh and kind of explode onto the scene if they do it right. And so I'm Concord's number one guy. I'm championing this game. I'm genuinely excited for, excited for it. I'm not making any of this up. And I'm excited to see what the information rollout of this game is like, what the post-launch support is like, what the community is like. The game is, I think, off to one day later a pretty slow start in terms of how people are reacting to it, but I think that they can turn that around. I think that if the narrative is good, if the gameplay gets good impressions from the beta, if they are consistently supporting the community with information over the course of the next three months, and then the launch of the game comes on both PS5 and PC, which is another interesting element of this game, and it reviews well, I think that this could find its own space with the backing of PlayStation Studios, which so many of these other games in this kind of genre don't get that kind of budget, support, marketing, yada, yada, yada. Concord looks great. It's one of my most anticipated games of the year, and I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Go join my Discord, which is linked in the description. I will also link the official Concord Discord in there as well. Subscribe to my channel for more information about Concord and other PlayStation Nintendo games and other kind of gaming nonsense. I will see you guys in another video.